All right, Brewers spring training day five has happened. The Cubs start out with a Miles Masturboni strikeout. Seiya Suzuki would double out to left. Michael Bush grounded out the first, and Zastrzyzny would throw a wild pitch, scoring Seiya Suzuki. Started attacking that first pitch. You saw that right there. Ground ball to first. Hey. Nice play by Powers. Saves a run as Suzuki has to stay put. After that, Nick Madrigal would get walked. Canario would end out the first on a strikeout. Leading off for the Brew Crew would be Garrett Mitchell, and he would hit a single out to right. A William Contreras error would move Garrett Mitchell to second. Jake Bowers would single, and Garrett Mitchell would get thrown out at the plate. These guys, look, they're not just working on fastball command. They're out there throwing all their pitches right now. And another weak hit to left field. Garrett Mitchell. As Garrett Mitchell's rounding third base, how is this not catcher interference? Willie Adamas would fly out to left for the second out. A wild pitch by Jordan Wicks would move Jake Bowers to second. Jackson Churio would end out the first on a fly out to center. Top of the second and Trevor McGill would come in for Rob Zastrzyzny. P. Crow Armstrong would lift small and bunt the ball for the first out. McGill would go 1-2-3 retiring Matt Shaw and Owen Casey. Bottom of the second and Christian Arroyo would lead off striking out. Blake Perkins would fly out to left for the second out. Monasterio would hit a single back up to the center. Vinny Capper would end out the bottom of the second on a strikeout. Top of the third and J.B. Bukowskis would come in for Trevor McGill. Bukowskis would go 1-2-3 on three strikeouts. Bottom of the third and Garrett Mitchell would single to short. William Contreras grounded into a double play for the first two outs of the bottom of the third. Jake Bowers would end out the third on a ground out to third. Top of the fourth and Anoli Paredes would come in for J.B. Bukowskis. Michael Bush would hit a single out to right. Nick Madrigal would get the first out on a line out to short. After that out, Michael Bush would steal second base. Canario would hit an RBI single right back up the middle. I think he can continue to do that. He's one of those guys where he doesn't have a whole lot of movement in his swing. Nice hit by Canario. Up the middle for a base hit. Bush rounds third throw home. It's not in time. Canario would steal second base. Pete Crow Armstrong would strike out. Matt Shaw would have the third out. Bottom of the fourth, and Caleb Killian would replace Jordan Wicks. Willie Adamas would single out to short. For the first out of the inning, Jackson Shario would fly out to right. For the second out, Christian Arroyo would strike out. A wild pitch by Caleb Killian would move Willie Adamas to second. For the final half of the inning, Blake Perkins would fly out to center. Top of the fifth, and Jared Koenig would come in for Enoli Paredes. Owen Casey would hit a single out to left. Pablo Alienda would strike out. Miles Mastroboni would hit a single out to short. After Mastroboni got that base hit, he would actually get injured and Luis Vasquez would replace him. Seiya Suzuki would strike out. For the third out, Michael Bush would pop up to third. Here's two defensive switches. Andre Monasterio would line out to right for the first out. Vinny Capper would hit a single to center. Then Vinny would steal second base. Garrett Mitchell would be called out on strikes. William Contreras would hit an RBI double. An error. Bounce into a double play. Rips one down the left field line. Extra bases for Contreras. Capper scores. And it's a double for William. Jake Bowers would ground out for the third out. Chris Roller would replace Garrett Mitchell, and Harold Chirino would replace Jared Koenig. Nick Madrigal would hit a single out to center. And then Canario would line out the short. Pete Crow Armstrong would ground out to a force out. PCA would steal second base. Matt Shaw would get walked. Owen Casey would get an RBI single. 2-1. Casey lines that one to center. It's a base hit. PCA rounds third. He'll score easily, and Owen Casey having a big game. Alienda would follow that up with an RBI double. Goes into the Brewers' favor. Now Aliendo. the Cubs are raking. Lines it down the left field line for a base hit. Runner scores. Alienda to second. RBI double. 
Then Luis Vasquez will hit a two RBI single. As he gets a little older. He lines that one to left field, falls in for another base hit. Casey scores. Ryan Middendorf will come in for Harold Torino and Ezekiel Pagan will ground out. Here's a whole list of substitutions. Also, Luke Little would come into the game for Caleb Killian. Luke Little would go 1-2-3 on the Brewers. Jefferson Carroll would catch her, Owen Miller at first, Yanni Hernandez at short, and Nick Merkel would replace Ryan Middendorf. Merkel would strike out Mervis on strikes. David Bodie would get walked. Then Chase Strumpf would be walked. Joe Hudson would be walked, making it bases loaded. Christian Franklin would ground into a double play to end out the inning. Brad Wick would come in for Luke Little. Blake Perkins would be walked. Carlos D. Rodriguez would come in for Blake Perkins. Monasterio would strike out, and then Vinny Capra would ground into a force out. For the third out, Chris Roller would fly out to center. There's five defensive changes, but TJ Shook would replace Nick Merkel. Shook would practically go 1-2-3 except for giving up a single. Moises Ballesteros would stay at DH, and Thomas Pannone would come in for Brad Wick. Pannone would go 1-2-3 in the 8th. Top of the ninth, and Edwin Jimenez would come in for TJ Shook. Matt Mervis would get walked. David Bodie would hit a single out to left. Chase Strumpf would walk to make it bases loaded. Joe Hudson would pop up for the first out. Christian Franklin and Moises Ballesteros would strike out. Bottom of the ninth, and Brock Wilkin would hit a single out to left. Eric Haas would replace Christian Arroyo, and he would pop up to first. Carlos D. Rodriguez would be the last chance for the Brewers, and he grounded into a double play. The Brewers' perspective Brewers player of the game goes to J.B. Bukowskis for a shutout inning with three strikeouts. If you like to see hit like and subscribe, goodbye.